Hi everyone, Alex here from North Harbour Ford giving you a North Harbour Ford tutorial video on your wild track and some of the everyday functions that you can use starting with the reversing camera and how to use that so if you want to put the vehicle into reverse you have to go down to the gear stick pull the trigger at the front and drop it down into R which is then going to automatically put you into reverse then that will also bring up the camera once the camera comes up it will have your guidance system just here and tow bar, sensors and little plus button which we'll get to in a moment Starting with the guidance system, if we turn our drive or steering wheel, it will start turning with us and projecting where our vehicle is going to go with those white lines appearing. Over on the top right, you can see there's an orange and green light just here. The orange means that we're pretty close to the wall and the green means it sees the wall, picks up on the wall, but we're not close enough to be a worry just yet. As we start getting closer, if we start moving, it would then beep as well and then go from green, orange to red and then probably hit something. <laughs> Over, over in the center, we've got our tow bar. If we wanted to, we could even magnify the camera into the tow bar so we can see what we're hooking it into, whether it's a trailer or your neighbor's letterbox, you can choose. Over there, we push the plus, it will then magnify as described, and then it will let you aim properly. Pushing the minus will bring you back out. Just below, we're gonna pop it back into park and then go down into our center console. Our center console is just here. This has mostly, it's just our radio, but also has our air conditioning unit and also heated seats, which is really awesome, especially in winter time to use the heated seats. You've got your little button there, which is a red icon of a chair. By pushing it, it will take you back up to the maximum, which is three levels of heating. When you push it, it will start going down until it's eventually turned off. Now we're gonna go back into the gear stick. If we wanted to, we could pop it down into drive. And then once you're in drive, it will lock and you can put down one further which will then put you into sport mode sport mode is essentially just going to give you um, holding those lower gears and try and squeeze out as much power as it can as you accelerate once you're in sport mode as well if you were towing or if you wanted to have some tiptronic function you can with the buttons over here down a gear and up a gear going back up on your wild track it's going to be a four-wheel drive as well we can change our drive by turning this dial from too high to four high for low depending on the scenario that you want to be in we can make another video explaining how to use the four-wheel drive function as well if you're interested and over in the top we've got a few more controls we've got our automatic stop start so if you had a red light in the two liter engine then your engine will automatically turn off to save fuel but also reduce emission output and as you take your foot off the brake then it will automatically turn back on in the center we have our diff lock pushing this, our uh, diff or rear diff will lock, giving us a bit more attraction as we're in those lower muds or sands. Over on the right, we have our downhill descent control. Over there is our parking sensors, which we can turn on and off. Over in the center is our parallel park. By pushing this, the vehicle will then scan automatically for a park and then guide you in. Over on the right is our traction control, which we can turn on and off through the button as well. Over on our steering wheel, we can access some of our infotainment system through these dials here, volume, voice command. We can also pick up phone calls and hang up, which is my favorite button. Over on the right, we can also engage our adaptive cruise control, which comes in the wild track. We can adjust our following distance just through here and our speed, but we'll make another video on how to use that thoroughly as well. Down on the right hand side, we've got our lighting system. Going down to the left, this will be lights fully off. Down here, is now onto dim that is full and this is automatic so if it's nighttime they'll turn on or if it's dark they'll turn on and at daytime they'll turn off except for your daytime running lights by pushing this dial in here we can also change the height of our headlights so if you want to blind people you can put it right up into the level or you can lower it as well over on the left we can engage our fog lights as well that's for our front fogs we can push that and they will engage over on the right is our dash lighting. So by changing that button there, it will change the lighting of our front dash. That is to increase it and that is to decrease it. Over on the far left there, hidden away, is for our rolling lid. As wild tracks come with an automatic rolling lid on the back, you can then open and close the lid as long as you're not driving by pushing this button here. This is only some of the cool functions that the Wildtrek has to offer and we'll make a few more videos to go through some of the cooler stuff as well. But if you have any questions or you need anything, feel free to give us a call at North Harbour Ford. Thanks, bye for now.